Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing another tarot reading for Mitris Richardson's case. The reason why I'm doing this is because someone reached out to me and said that she 100% sure who was behind this case but couldn't give the police the proof to be able to convict this person. So before I begin, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so that you'll get notified on my next upload. I will upload a new video every week and I'm offering a free tarot reading for all of my subscribers. So if you would like to have your reading with me, you can just send a message to my email or a direct message to my Instagram. All of the details will be in the description box below. Okay, so this person emailed me with a lot of information about the suspect and she said that she called the detectives who's involved in this case but it was like they didn't believe her and she felt like the suspect used her as his alibi. This suspect is an ocean lifeguard. He worked near the restaurant where Mitris was taken from. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is to have another reading, a more in-depth reading or specifically about the suspect that I've mentioned in my previous video and we'll see what more we can find from this reading. Okay, so from the first deck here we have 10 of chalices, 6 of pentacles, 2 of swords, 2 of pentacles, 9 of chalices, 5 of chalices, ace of swords, page of wands, and the star. So there's no energy about the suspect from the first deck, but let's see what we have. I remember, I rewatched my tarot reading about Mitris and I noticed that um, Nine of Chalices appeared again in this reading uh, along with the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the Nine of Chalices here is about the suspect's intention. I believe that he was trying to sexually assault Mitris and that he used her condition which represents by the Two of Pentacles that means that she was not in her best condition and it's easier for him to assault her to do whatever he wanted to do to her as we can see here we have two of swords and i feel that this is also about mitris's state of mind she couldn't really think properly or her sense of direction was not good at that time and it causes her to wander around instead of finding someone or somewhere where she could probably call her parents or got back home so we have page of wands energy which i think that this represents the person that emailed me with all this information i feel that she was one of the people who have hope with the star here about this whole case about the justice to Mitris and I feel that with the Ace of Pentacles here what she did will be the first start that will help the police solve this case or at least reopening the whole investigation and I feel that this will be an encouragement for anybody else out there who has information about this case, no matter how little it is. It will help the police to investigate further. Okay, so I mentioned that the suspect is a lifeguard and the way I see it, it goes along with this ten of chalices and the six of pentacles 
because it's like here he is sitting on top it's like he's watching people's move like on a higher ground and for me it was almost like spying someone or you know find a target from where he is and with the six of pentacles here you can see that he's trying to you know give something or in this case he could it could means that he's trying to save someone he uses that to charm women and then lure them to somewhere or end up having an intimate relationship with him and I feel that this he's not doing this to just one or two people but some probably shared a mutual interest but some others I feel that he had to pressure them or force them to do what he wanted them to all right so I will draw more cuts to get more insight about this reading I'm using another deck for the second deck uh, and this is my new deck of cards and I find this deck fascinating because it's a vice versa tarot and it's literally vice versa so you can see that every single card here has two sides and we can interpret both sides I'm trying to use the front side first and then we'll see more details from the back of it uh, okay so from this deck we have the lover card knight of swords the star seven of wands king of cups three of pentacles ace of pentacles the empress and nine of pentacles I'm sorry if it's a little bit noisy because it's raining while I'm recording this okay so we will start by seeing um, the card that appeared twice of course as usual um, we have the star ace of pentacles on top of another ace of pentacles from the second deck we can see that we have even two males energy and it's the knight of swords and the king of cups but for me what i feel the suspect's energy is more on this knight of swords and this king of cups is another person's energy i feel that he was not related directly to what happened to Mitris, but he's related to this knight of swords he could be someone that helped him or covering for him i'll just start with this the lover's card here i feel that this person is as i said he was targeting someone and then trying to charm his way to get them to have an intimate relationship with him and with this lover card i feel that is exactly how his behavior is he is someone who's like a player or feels like he could get any woman he wants because he's that um, charming well as he thought so and from the back of the card here we can see that there's a couple here they're like looking to the, the other side where there's a hill or mountain and I feel that this is well I'm not really familiar with Malibu and you know the surrounding of it but when I picture what happened to Mitris where they found her and the area surrounding it I kind of have this kind of like you know hills mountains or um, forest and this really looks like it and I feel that he could be 
targeting Mitris prior to what happened to her prior to that night I don't think that what happened to her was coincidence or a crime of opportunity I feel it's more like something that was planned and these star cards I feel that this is a way of him getting someone is by putting something in their drinks and as the, in the back we can see that there's a shadow of a man here um, in this case I feel that the girl here doesn't even realize that he did something to her I feel like with this card this is a reminder for every girl who's going out on a date or uh, you know just have a drink with someone who you barely know or even if it's someone who you know for quite some times I feel that you have to be careful never drink something that you have left even if it's just a split second to be safe just buy your own drink probably like you know don't let the guy brought the drink for you so this middle line here I feel that this guy is someone who is connected to the suspect and he was powerful resourceful you can see that there's three of pentacles here that means that they are in this together like trying to cover something up or do something together and at the back you can see that there's another person here I feel that this is like how they're trying to hide um, what they know in order to help this person and this seven of wands here I feel that this is showing how he felt that he's protected and that he could get away with his crime because he has the people who will help him get away with it now this ace of pentacles appeared twice so i feel that this really is about a chance that they will at least reopen and reinvestigate what happened to Mitris and you can see that in the bottom here we have the Empress card and Nine of Pentacles what I feel are needed for this case to be reopened or reinvestigate is that if more people come forward with the information and with whatever they've been hiding and from the back here you can see that there's something that this person is hiding whether it's something good or bad as you can see there's a skeleton there so I feel that the more people come forward with more information will help the police to investigate this case and bring justice to Mitris and the family Another thing that they need is money because to reinvestigate the whole thing will take a lot of time and resources and money is one of the things that they need a lot of money to be able to investigate more about this case. So I hope that they could find these resources. So I really hope that this case will be reopened and that more information and more resources will be added to this investigation. And the shadow cards here, from the first deck we have the High Priestess and the second deck we have Six of Wands. For the High Priestess here, I feel that this is about people who have any information whether they have proof or if it's just a hunch they should be sharing it with the investigators or Mitchell's family 
so that they could investigate more. I feel that no matter how little it is, it will be very helpful to the case. And the Six of Wands here gives me hope that one day this case will be solved and justice will be served. From the Oracle card, we have Prosperity, Outdoors, and Indigo, and Crystal Children. Okay, so this Prosperity, I feel that this will be the resources that we need in order to help reopen the case. And Outdoors here, I feel that they should have been finding more clues or proofs from the area where they found her. I feel that they could find more evidence or clues around the area. And these indigo and crystal children, I feel that this is about how more information will multiply into more information. It's like no matter how little the information is, I feel that it could lead to another information and could really really be useful to the investigation and it could it's like one answer would lead to another answers and then it will link all together so yeah i think that is all the reading about the suspect of mitris richardson's case and i hope that more people will come forward with more information and that one day they will be able to reinvestigate the case and find answer and the justice will be served. So I would like to hear your opinion about this reading. Please share it in the comment section below. Don't forget to share and like the video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next Sons of Cases reading.